what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, uh, find the x and y intercepts of the graph and then graph it. So here we have a, uh, a pretty funny equation here. Um, not too often do we come across something like this, but what it's going to do is it's going to test our algebra skills. We're going to have to make sure that we know we're doing everything correctly. So first of all, before I even get to x and y intercepts, let's get this a little bit simpler. Um, I have a fraction, or what we call a rational expression here on the left side, and I don't want to get that rational expression anymore. So to get rid of a rational expression, remember what a rational expression is, it's like a fraction. What's on the bottom, that means I'm dividing by that number 4. So to undo division by 4, I need to multiply by 4. Whatever you do on the left side, you have to make sure you do it on the right side. So if I multiply a number by 4 and then divide a number by 4, I cancel out those operations. They undo each other. So I'm just going to be left with 6x plus 15 equals 3y minus 12 in parentheses times 4. A big mistake that students will make is they just want to multiply the 4 times the 12. I didn't say that. I said multiply your 4 on both sides. So if I'm going to multiply it by 4 on this side, I need to multiply the 4 times everything inside of it. So when I do that, I get 6x plus 15 equals 12y minus 36. Now, um, here we can leave it in this form. We can also uh, put it in standard form, which I... Uh, which I guess I would kind of uh, like to do, uh, but it really doesn't matter. Yeah, let's put it, we're gonna put it in standard form. So I'm gonna put it in standard form. Remember, standard form is when we have an ax plus by equals c. So to do that, I need to get my 12 over here. So I'm subtract 12y. So I get 6x, I can't subtract the 12y from 15, so it's 6x minus 12y plus 15 equals a negative 36. I subtract now 15. So I get 6x minus 12y is going to equal a, uh, a negative 51. All right, um, not gonna be some easy problems for me. Fair enough. Okay, so remember if we're gonna find the x and y intercept. To find the x intercept, all right, my y equals zero. And to find the y-intercept, x equals zero. So to find y equals zero, I'll do 6x minus 12 times zero equals a negative 51. Here, for x equals zero, I'll do six times zero minus 12y equals a negative 51. All right, so therefore this gives me 6x equals a negative 51. And over here, this is giving me a negative 12y equals a negative 51. Now, since I don't have a calculator, I'm not going to use, a, I'm not going to do decimals. Uh, I'm just going to actually divide this the best I can, and then give me what, uh, give it actually in a, as a mixed number. So um, I'll try to do my decimal approximation method. So if I divide by 6, I get x equals, well, 6 goes into negative 51. Let's see, it'll go in there negative 8 times with the remainder of 3 over 6 would be negative 8.5. So I guess I can get away with it for this one. So you see, it, negative 8 times 6 is a negative 48 with the remainder of 3. Well, remember you put your remainder over your divisor, which was 6. 3 over 6 is 1 half. 1 half is a decimal approximation of 0.5. That doesn't look right, but it's so what it is. Then over here, I'm going to have to divide by negative 12. So y equals... Well, negative 12 is going to go in there to 4 times to give me 48 with the remainder of 3. 3 over 12 is going to be 1 fourth, which reduces down to 0.25. So I can say it's going to be a positive 4.25. So therefore, what I have is I have an x value of negative 8.5 and a y value of 4.25. So to graph this, If I graph y to 4.5, I'll go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 0.5 is like halfway there. And then x equals negative 8.5. So I go over negative 8.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0.5. And I'll just connect the two dots. And that's how you graph by putting it first in the standard form, 
finding the intercepts um, by using y is 0, x equals 0 to find the intercepts and then graphing.